It's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. That means the big announcement for Between the Rolls is happening tonight. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. But before we even talk about that, we have to recap over the campaign week. We got to talk about what happened to those horrible, terrible people, those frightened people on cred, and then discuss the calamity that is the Saturday campaign. But before we even get started with that, I'm just leading into a bunch of questions. What is the announcement? What happened in Calamity? Are the cred people dead? No. Those answers come later. After, no, before the big announcement. Yeah. <laughs> but before we can even get started on that, guys, follow us on Twitch, follow us on YouTube, take a look at our YouTube archives. Wait. Follow us Twitter. on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Hold on, hold on. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Do you follow on Twitch? I just yes. yeah, I okay. do. Follow us on Twitch. Stop Subscribe. us on Twitter. Check out our YouTube archive. There we go. Uh and oh no, I lost trap. Discord. Yeah, I don't want to talk about Discord first. If you want to play in one of our games, this Saturday is our one shot. I don't think it's quite filled yet, or if yeah. it's getting close. <laughs> you know what? You know what? If any of them played before, we do roll dice just to see who gets random in there. So that's fine. You can hit us up on Twitter or go to mhoboinc at gmail.com. If you want to talk about D&D, talk about cred or other <sighs> wonderful things, uh, or talk about whatever this announcement is coming tonight. Big announcement. Big, the biggest big, huge announcement it's like a hero sandwich but on steroids so it's like a a gyro sandwich i'm pretty sure that's exactly what happens if you put heroes on steroids Probably. anyway yeah, <laughs> absolutely guys oh, man i am pooped today i apologize we're never going to get to this announcement man absolutely we told you. i know you shouldn't have had me do it because I'm just going <laughs> to tell all these wonderful people about this cool merch they can buy uh, uh, over at our tiny URL site, which is linked somewhere well, below here. You can't you can buy get this T-shirts, one. phone cards. You can't get the one that Carol's wearing. <laughs> yeah, that's hers. So and um, but you this can is go the sweatshirt is page, page, uh, 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 Pay uh, extra money for that. Uh, eventually, we might have cred merchandise. Uh, I got that, a little bit more Carol. done today. I got a little bit more done on it today, so it's uh, getting you, there. Don't hey, Kyle, Kyle, look at our faces. Kyle, yeah, real, yeah, real quick, David, yeah. would you shut up? <laughs> David, gosh, I just talk and talk and talk. You know what? Uh. He's got that smile, and I tolerate him just talking over me all the time. So, <laughs> darn you, David. Guys, if you don't want to look at our faces, our guilty, guilty faces, see the blood covering everything, uh, you can also hit up our other <laughs> tiny URL for an audio-only podcast. Maybe you're going on a lovely trip this week, and you're like, man, I need to listen to eight, nine, 18 hours of cred, uh, not cred campaign, any campaign, really. Uh, although there is a number one campaign that is a little longer than 18 hours, but... Only slightly. Oh, yeah. Only slightly. What? Might be 19 hours after that. <laughs> no. But while you're listening to those 19 hours and listening to the sweet, smooth sounds of Scott playing his character as a really weird monk dude, you can go to Pirate Dog Dice what? and get some cool, custom-made dice you get the big guys you get the little guys you can get some music dice i believe uh carol oh ooh. i got the bag yeah i actually used the dice to do my draw to the roll the winner for the uh for that uh beholder i was giving away and i won oh. it it is beautiful oh Thank no you so much kyle carol. kyle you're gonna hate who won it blue not the person who won it was heidi Oh no, I like uh, Heidi. Heidi's I not. was like, that's a love hate relationship. Carol, <laughs> stop interrupting me so I can tell people about this other <coughs> awesome sponsor we have, Odd Fish Games, and their awesome adventure sense. Guys, when the announcement Ooh. comes out later this evening, you're going to want to get your hands on all of those adventure sense and then just send them out, just spray adventure sense into everybody's faces, really get them in the mood. 
uh, I would throw putrid sewers in all your faces right now. So you can be like, what? When you hear our announcements. Also, you cough, gag, and probably need to go to a hospital like some other people did who snorted up putrid sewers. Not naming names. Dumbass. <laughs> all right. I think that's just about everything I can tell you people. We're all brimming, biting, nipping at the heels to know what the big announcement is. But before we do that, Carol has to take all of our time and talk about what happened Thursday night at the Cred campaign. Cthulhu Rises. Everyone dies. What the fuck did happen? Uh, wow. Invested. Invested. We were- Invested. <laughs> No, I will not. say it was it was a fallout episode. It, it was well, it was. I mean, I'm going to try to keep this short, guys. So, short, yeah. uh, we did find out. Well, I don't know if we've actually figured out, but we're starting to suspect that something's gone on with Ernie's Ernie. Yeah, there we go. Ryan, that, that the one player guy name. We play with. That one guy we went, no, 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 what the hell? Riley. Riley. <laughs> Riley. I'm tired, okay? Uh, we, there's something going on with Riley's memory because he's like, I don't remember, you know, this and that happening. So uh, so we know something's up there, but I'm not sure if we've actually figured that out. But basically the episode was we uh, we talked to Nebby and tried to figure out what the fuck was going on with the, mute, with the um, mutineers. Uh, and she told she told us that uh, they felt the need to take the Wilcomite and get it to the priests. Otherwise, the world was going to end in so many words. Yeah, so, in so many words. So, uh, but the, she felt bad that we got hurt and that, oh, no, no one was supposed to get hurt. But yet we did. So uh, I'm convinced and I think Anja is convinced that uh they've also been having weird dreams in fact i think the only people i don't know if the first mate did i remember if that got answered but i know the captain did not have any weird dreams i don't think the first mate did either but i think all the rest of us did for some reason the players none of the players the pcs uh ended up you know deciding to grab it help them run away with it but all the the rest of the crew did uh, we sent the, we actually sent uh, the captain and the first mate and the cat. What's the cat's name? Damn it, Nuki. Nuki. I and let's said be Nebby. fair. It's a cat. Nebby and Nuki. You didn't send it anywhere. No, it's a cat. No, but it went with. I think. Yes. And they went off to go find the uh, the mutineers, the the Chris, the crew, mm-hmm. while the rest of us go went to go find Jeremiah. What happened to uh, Jeremiah? We don't know. He got dragged away. We, I, I basically made a successful tracking check and found that he had been snatched and dragged. And we tracked him to a series of caves, which once inside, we couldn't track it anymore because the floor, of course, was made out of rock. And all we did manage to find in there was, well, I'll get to the big thing that almost killed me. Uh, what the hell was that thing? It was a bear with uh it was a um i don't yeah you would know the name of it uh uh bear it was there were two that had taken uh uh traits from deep sea creatures deep sea creature i don't know why that's that pins that that pincers right and shells pincers and shells and uh they bifurcated jaw they both managed to (sighs) grapple me that's what i remember and uh Craw bears. I became I became uh, writing that down. Craw bear, craw bears, claw bear or craw bear. Craw like crawfish. Craw bear. From, craw. From I became a craw bear chew toy. So, um, yippee. Yeah, I I end up I was just I don't even remember if I was conscious at the end of the episode, but we had dispatched them. Um, I might have been a. I think I was conscious. I think I got healed. You were brought back to one to one if i yes i have one hit point right now mm-hmm. that's right everyone else is doing a bit better than me but bear you know, cubs kill bear. oh yeah once again no <laughs> once again here we are here we go again we've I, i'm the worst ranger ever you know let's just be all for nature and such and um i seem to be good at taking out mothers with babies and leaving the babies orphans because we did it again 
the orphan baby. maker. There are baby bears that are orphans. Aren't you I the think orphan that's the group maker? name, yeah. The orphan makers. <laughs> the orphan yeah. makers. We need a name. Yeah, we have, we don't have a group name yet. How so. about shitty dice rollers? <laughs> uh, that's no. So I uh, that's that's a little bit. If you want to see it, check out the uh, check it out in the archives or on the Twitch channel on the Twitch channel before it goes away after two weeks. And then our new episode will be up. So Ooh. can't wait. Maybe. We'll see. There is a question on that. There is a question on that. Someone has to take a vacation with his family. Oh, um, shit. That person may be slightly right. more important than anyone else on the show. God <laughs> damn it. I was like, that's right. That's right. I, I'll I fill knew in. it was so. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was so. Oh, that I would be send nice. You the show notes right yeah. now, Frank. <laughs> you know, Frank, why could. Frank could run something that night. Frank is us. not running somebody else's campaign. Oh. No, but that you is a faux pas. Idea. That, no, is, but, that is a very but, but bad you thing. could run but a one-shot. But if one you want me to run your calamity with campaign, I will. <laughs> You'd be happy to. <laughs> Putting up with but, us. <laughs> speaking of that, maybe we should go to that. Because that was about 10 minutes. David, well, <coughs> let me add the things that Carol forgot because she always forgets things. Oh, but I mean, it was supposed to be a 10-minute recap. I'm not adding a lot. This will take a minute. Some uh, people suffered their dreams. Uh, 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 turns out they were a little bit more affecting reality. Uh, okay, true. Riley, we mentioned him. He became slimier and covered in more scales, but he's not the only one who grows scales overnight. Branded as yeah, well. That's true. <laughs> oh, what a calamitous thing that these players have arrived on this that's island. Right. Bran is growing scales. What the? F- He's not showing anybody. So in game, I don't know. <laughs> and I kinda- All right. But let's go ahead and talk about Saturday Night Campaign Calamity. Ah, uh, David, tell it's- me the wonderful trouble. That the, your party around you has caused. Well, I I boiled it down to bullet points, and I was just gonna run right through them, <laughs> steamroll right through them. Okay, calamity campaign. In case you don't know, it is the old school old guard campaign. It, it us it's us old timers. So, who played is myself, Jesse, Scott, and Rob. We uh, reprised our characters from the first episode of you the got Citizens the of Bob. Right? Uh, so not yet, but it shouldn't Frank. be too long. That's okay. That's all right. Take your time. Bet to <laughs> <yourself. In laughs> uh, anyway, so the episode we pick up where uh, on the trail uh, from where we left off last time and, uh, looking for our lost town folk as well as, uh, being quasi guided by this, uh, this foundling we found, uh, this young hunter by the name of Peck Peck. So anyway, all right, run through the bullet points. Boom. We pick up where the trail lifts off, followed by beasts of burden. What could go wrong there? We find some chocobo like uh, uh, avian creatures out there. And yeah, let's just say that didn't go well at all. So uh, yeah, so. I disagree. uh, No, (laughs) DM says it went well. Okay. So my second bullet point is friends and fun with Thunderwave because that was a great way to piss off your campaign and I, <laughs> I did it oh beautifully so oh man but the second uh, the next bullet point is we're worried about Rakir because he proceeds to <laughs> beat the ever living crap out of one of the chocobos and uh yeah uh towards the end says he just wanted to see the light fade from their eyes i think there's a lot so, you need to worry about when yeah, it comes we gotta to worry that about rakir rakir is <laughs> oh man so yeah and after totally pissing off peck peck and stuff like that he's like what the fuck is wrong with you guys okay anyway <laughs> on to the next point back on the river what's that noise why are we moving faster 
Ah, it's Land of the Lost. We go cascading off a waterfall. <laughs> Oh, uh, followed by, yeah, our plunge into the bottom of, uh, of the falls. And from there, we go into Ingbe's great percentage rolls. And yeah, a shattered raft and a shattered peck peck didn't end well, you know, but, you know, we end up saving peck peck. The next bullet point is an idiot swimming to an island. So I'm just going to leave it at that, folks. <laughs> once we reach here. The <laughs> yeah, <we're> here. <laughs> so once we reach the island, uh, reach the island folks, uh, the rest of us join Rick here after swimming across the shoals, trying to get to the river, possible bad things, nipping at feet. Uh, yeah, we get to the island. Ah, zombies. Next bullet point. point. Oh, wait. They're not zombies. Poor Ebbles. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Followed by uh, 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 Azari and Dave scouting ahead, leaving me and Rick here on the beach with poor Ebbles. And yeah, a poor Ebbles being killed by, by a fallen rock, which tries to hit Ingve and ends up careening into Rakir and oops, snapping uh, poor Ebel's neck. But anyway, so we make our way up to the, this plateau uh, where we hear more noises, grunting and all that. We're alarmed by basically a walking dead type scenario, just, uh, just what seems to be lifeless souls walking around muttering things about the light and stuff like that. So we see a big <gasps> temple like structure in the background and uh, yeah, we make our way there followed by Azari and, and Dave successfully stealthing oh, up babe. to the temple. Uh, <laughs> oh, and Burn. this is, this is throwing me the fuck off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're succeeding on their stealth rolls, Ingve failing, uh, and Rakir doing his zombie walk through the crowd of zombies. Next bullet point the into the breach. Walk. We work our way into the temple, and then it follow, follows up with, oh, wait, that's my sister floating there with this menacing uh light shining from her eyes. And that's where we're in, folks. That was the episode. So check it out in our archives. Check it out on Twitch. It still may be on Twitch. So it's a great episode. It's us. It's our shenanigans. I mean, yeah. Uh, what could go wrong? Frank's the DM. So <laughs> everything. Oh, we everything can show you wrong. plenty can go wrong with Janet's Frank's the DM. Sarcasm, Carol. <laughs> so. so Speaking of going on, Frank, are you okay over there? Oh man, I am not having a good uh, broadcast day, boys and girls. <laughs> First off, my uh, shut off valve apparently does not work. Oh, uh, no. then, then I shut off my camera. Uh, what you just did just, again? Kyle, Kyle did. Just did oh, Kyle just I think Kyle. I got it fixed. I think he's trying to put us back. He's in trying position. to put us back in the, in the squares. So okay. let's see. Just let's give see. it up, Kyle. <laughs> You know, I, I like David's recap on that. I wish I would have been there. I don't remember any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we got shipped in the right spot. So uh, Kyle is in the right spot. Kyle succeeded. I'm yeah, there. that's all that matters. I am Frank now. So, I mean, does that put me in charge of this? Not hardly. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, you've tuned in for a big announcement. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Just real quick. Margu? Uh -huh. No Margu. No Margu. No Margu last week. Last week. Oh, it was Memorial Day weekend and there was a lot of things going on. So no uh, Frank show. This Sunday, however, uh, Frank show. Now, one thing that Kyle did touch on uh, about if you want to be on Between the Rules or the One Shot, uh, space does fill up rather fast for that. But hit us up, mhobo Inc., Twitter, or Gmail. We will get you at least on the waiting list, if not in, as soon as we can. Uh, new players always go up to the top. Unless there's other new players. So there people like have. us for some reason. So people, people forever DMs. Forever that DMs shout outs to us. you. Yeah. Yes, please. Put, put away the DM screen. 
sit down Come and join, join the general fuckery. Uh, okay, <laughs> here it is. We're all we're all very pumped about this. Oh so it is now time for the big announcement. Here it comes. <gasps> Brace yourself. <gasps> So on August 1st, a Sunday, from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're putting on Murder Hobo Con, a virtual <gasps> world Con. convention. Uh, it's going to be a charity event, meaning that after we pay the bills, all the money goes to Kai. <coughs> I mean, all the what? money goes to a charity. <laughs> I really need to grow my hair back. <laughs> he needs the hair plugs. I really uh, do. We so know desperate. Kyle is a charity case, but he's not the one getting the money in this case. He is not. Uh, we've selected the American Cancer Society I as have our cancer. charity. <laughs> I have cancer. <laughs> we this have is been chemo. A, we have no, all Kyle. Expected, up, or Kyle. know somebody who has been stricken with cancer, so we thought we would go ahead and make them uh, our charity. Now, for the past several weeks, uh, we here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, these guys and a whole lot of others uh, have been working on this project. We've all had our experiences at virtual cons during the pandemic, but we wanted to see if we could build a better one, uh, one that's a little bit more convention-like. Uh, tonight, we unveil Murder Hobo Con. There was supposed to be applause there, but it's not going to come. because. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. <sighs> let it register. Let, okay. let, me, let it seep in. in. It's not seeping in. That's that's <laughs> something else seeping in dread uh, because uh, I am just out of sorts today. Now, in the past, we've all gone to Woo! gaming conventions yeah. uh, <laughs> to yeah. do a few things. I hate these guys. See, that's why you need to come on here. I need new blood. Uh, so we all go to we all go to the gaming conventions for a couple different reasons. Mostly to play games, see the vendors, maybe catch some shows, panelists, or seminars see our old friends and maybe meet some new yeah. ones. Uh, you know, just interact with a bunch of people uh, with the same types of uh, hobbies that we enjoy. And now, you'll only <clears throat> catch one type of virus, the same one you get on porn. <laughs> Not, so we'll all, your, your computers will all be locked down. Now, over the past year, uh, a lot of us have been to multiple virtual cons, and we did get to play the games uh, via Zoom, via Roll20, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but we didn't feel that they had the real con feel to it. So we came together, we formulated what was missing, and we've tried to come up with a virtual con that actually feels like the real thing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bullshit, Frank. There's no freaking way you can do a con online that's going to feel like it's real. Good point, but listen. Buy Adventure Sense, Adventure <laughs> Sewers, <laughs> and then hop on. We have partnered with Topia, a virtual <laughs> world company, to design a venue that would incorporate the aforementioned goals of going to the con and have been working behind the scenes to come up with a plan. We will be using tabletop.events to handle submissions, tickets, scheduling, and the financial ends of things because we're basically lazy bastards. Now, each of us is going to cover a different aspect as to what you can expect. I'm just giving the broad overview. On our website, murderhobocon.com, it's live. It's been live for a couple of weeks. We've uploaded informational videos as to how what you can expect and what the feel of the con is going to be. Now, for the naysayers, I understand this concept is honestly difficult to grasp a lot of the people working on this didn't understand it until they saw it so we have put in a preview uh that i highly recommend you go to at tinyurl.com slash con preview this is a very small not even a portion of the con venue it's just something that i built on the side this will give you a brief overview of it now disclaimer this preview area is not the full powered version of our venue. Ergo, there may be some latency or lag issues, okay? We are aware of this. This is not an issue. We wanted to spend the money on the actual con as opposed to upgrade the server for the con preview. Um, trust us, we've been working for a couple weeks on this because we knew that would be a big concern, especially with Kyle's shitty internet. Now, <laughs> my computer's shitty too. Well, that's why you're our charity du jour. 
Oh, and the, so much cancer. <laughs> oh, that's cancer the, blood. Oh my <laughs> god, Kyle, shut up. In the wow. next few days, we'll be promoting this project with a lot of, shall we say, vigor. So apologize. Or, I'm sorry, apologies if you feel like we're spamming you. I, I'm gonna spam we the are. shit out of it. Uh, <laughs> we're just spam. we're we are super excited about this project. Honestly, yeah. it's 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 pretty impressive, and we aren't patting ourselves on the back for no reason. This is kind of a cool well, deal. Uh, our our website's being updated frequently, uh, far too frequently, if you ask me. Uh, and keep a close eye on changes it for the convention. Right now, currently live. The GMDM panel seminar submissions are open at tabletop.events. So go to the website, check out the conventions. I think we're on page two at the bottom, maybe, maybe still at the top of page three. August 1st, one day event, Murder Hobo Con. Uh, check it out. So if you're a DM GM, you want to run a panel, you want to run a seminar, first go look at the con preview so you understand what you're getting yourself into. Uh, it doesn't have the smaller game rooms that we've incorporated, but check that out and then go ahead and sign up for some submissions that you feel that would be interesting for others to go ahead and enjoy. Uh, th that's the big thing. Uh, badge registration and tickets have not been live. They are not live. We want to get a lot of events first and then worry about uh, buying the badges and tickets. The price is going to stay low simply because once we get the bills paid, the rest is going to charity. We don't want your wallets. We want you to have a good time. We want you to enjoy it. We just want a little help with the charity. Uh, we're pretty sure we got the con covered. That shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, so, you know, do something good. Uh, help out the American Cancer Society. Now, we've got a lot, and I mean a shit ton of information on this project. There's no way we can cover it all in the hour, especially with me rambling on. Uh, <laughs> Check out the con preview, tinyurl.com slash con preview. We're open to suggestions. Uh, hit us up on email or our Twitter feed, which is at con hobo. You'll be seeing a lot of them. Uh, the website's murderhobocon.com. It is live. Now, rather than me continue to ramble on and continue to have all these uh, Twitch issues, Let's take it over to Kyle. He's going to go ahead and discuss games. Kyle, what do you got in the game world? What have we... I I had to have things in the game world? Oh, God, I wasn't prepared for this. I have Kyle will be slowing us down. <laughs> and a shitty computer. <laughs> no, guys, uh, uh, having actually been on the uh, uh, convention floor once or twice, it's some awesome, cool stuff. Uh, as he said, check it out. One of the things he said that wasn't there is that we have private rooms uh, for you DMs who want to run games uh, that you can actually walk in, play in. You can lead people away from the table, do that. Or you can link to, say, Roll20 or one of the other servers uh, uh, that you prefer to play on and prefer to use. Um, these are all rooms are password protected. You can't have people just barging in and said i like peanuts they're delicious turtles so turtles. we better make oh, sure that turtles. kyle it's doesn't turtles. see now sure that being said i do them. have admin access as the charity case <laughs> so i will be coming into your rooms regardless i have all of your passwords i mean but, honestly who does no. one two three four five a no. moron clearly <laughs> don't 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 listen to him he we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna drop a ban hammer on is what's gonna happen. That's what they say. <laughs> except I'm gonna be running the most popular game there. But hey, we'll talk about that here in a second. Now, um, you say hey, but I like to show off on Twitch too and all my other stuff. Guys, guys, calm down. We're gonna put you guys in a private room, but we're gonna be able to live feed that somewhere else if that's what you would prefer. Or you can have it play on your own Twitch stream, as long as you say how much you love Murder Hobocon. We do have shotguns, we do travel by train, uh -huh. and our satchels are full of shells and penises. I <laughs> I was going to say pinkies, and it got worse. Yeah, it sounded really bad there. And, yeah. yeah, it got really bad there. Oh, uh, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, but we're going to have all of that live feed it. Uh, right now, we're trying to convince Frank to have the Murder Hobo Twitch live stream from the beginning to the end. Uh, but starting today, DMs, if you see this, you want to participate in this charity case uh, to help those cancer people out. And yeah. you want to play, run a game? Absolutely. Does it have to be 5e Dungeons and Dragons? Absolutely not. We have 1e and 2e games going for our old players to our old players or our new players who want to try something old. I think there's a, a, a thing for that. Yeah. You're into gilfs? No, no. What? what? Oh, oh. <laughs> what? Sorry, sorry. I was thinking about our only fans page. We're talking what? about Murder <laughs> Hobo Con right now. Wait, we have it's an only fans to... page? No, we do not. Yes. He's, he's we do now. Gonna <laughs> he's gonna make one for us on our behalf, I guess. Uh, no, my internet's too shitty and my computer's too old. That being said, I will bake cakes naked. Uh, unless you promised that bullshit before, I pro well, people gave to the charity, didn't they? And I didn't have to do it. Aren't they lucky? I will do it this time. Sign up, donate lots of money. Uh, It'll be and a for you, and for you DMs who are like, yeah, I need a little bit more motivation to run a game. Uh, keep in mind, we will also give you part of the charity money if you sign up. Now, there is a stipulation. Uh, you need to crawl inside of your microwave and turn it on for a couple of hours until you have grotesque tumors growing out of your body. Oh, in which case, geez. part of the charity money will come to you. And so, Carol, you'll be doing all the disclaimer work on this one. Yeah. I'll yeah. be what? Why, what? So much disclaimers. <laughs> Uh, wow. But uh, hey, no, hey, hey! We have, have a some we have a question. Games. We have a question. Yeah, yeah. are you reading? The, are you reading the chat? Right? Did you see that last question? I. Why would I look at the chat? No, huh? I was just going to say we are going to have Pathfinders. Is, we are yeah. going to have Starfinders. I'm going to run a cred one shot for you guys. <gasps> uh, 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 Theater of the Yellow King is what I just decided the name is. I'm talking out of my ass right now. I'm writing it down as we speak because I actually like the title of it. King, there we go. Staring. Oh, God, my handwriting is terrible. In that. So wait, wait, wait. So there's a question. It's, it's how much we have to pay to get Kyle not to be naked? All of the money. <laughs> All of the money. It goes to a great cause. So, you know, I mean, hey, feel so, free to so make donations in your own yeah. time, too make at least a thousand dollars to go to cancer and i won't get naked however <laughs> if we don't make it to a thousand dollars i will personally go to the highest donator's house oh no and bake cakes naked for them entirely so <laughs> you might start at a thousand dollars just to make sure you're not gonna be the one. you know what I'm kyle I, I i think the mayor is gonna go ahead and Anonymously donate <laughs> $999. <laughs> oh, we didn't make wow. it. Oh, no. I'll throw in the three bucks. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Carol, you're handling the vendor sponsors. And oh, am I? You are I now. Am. I hey, am don't now. steal my bit, Carol. That's my bit. What's you your get bit? your own bit. What's not your bit? knowing what we're talking about. No, no, it's fine because I originally thought I was only doing the artist, but you know, they all kind of go, it all kind of goes hand in hand. And I have actually I am a uh, I am a vendor artist coordinator at a <laughs> at a anime con. Yes, I know, but I thought somebody else was actually in charge of them, not me. But it's fine. Says yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, we plan on having vendors and some artist vendors as well. Uh, artists can be. I'm going to go with the same definition. My count con as of artists. Artists are not just people who do 2D art. They are people. Well, I'm going to let you do that, Frank. Um, artists. Artists can be people who also make crafts as well. Um, I'm probably going to keep now to make, oh, uh, there, there are some vendors to do this happy. I'm going to keep, I want to keep uh, the amount we have down 
to help limit competition because we find out that if we have too many, then the money gets split around too much and nobody's happy. So maybe it'll be somewhat exclusive in terms of the uh, spots we have. And I hear an echo. Oh, Don't worry about it. I hear Carrie. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> I love Carrie. So it's, it's a blessing when we get to hear her voice. Okay, Red uh, One, stay on target. <laughs> all right, thank you. Well, no, it was distracting. So, um, I was on mute there. That would have been bad. So, um, but feel feel free if you're interested. If you like sell gaming, you know anything that gamers would really go for. Or I said, if you're an artist that does like Dungeons and Dragons type stuff, uh, feel free to. Do we have a contact email for this, Frank? Yes. Um... MurderHoboCon at gmail.com. Okay. It's on the website. Go all the way to the bottom for contact. Yep. And then he'll get them to me and I'll help and we'll we'll start planning. Uh there's there's various uh there's various we have various offers here. I have the very basic, which is just I believe like a little podium spot with a thing where you can like post a I assume you can post a link to your website and maybe a picture or two of your wares. That's like 25 bucks. And then let's see, the second, the second thing is you get a private room where you can invent. Yeah. Brenda's artist, all the same price, which I believe is 50 bucks. Well, that's all right. No, no. We'll let everybody know. So at least they have an idea. And then, well, that fine. I will skip the last one because I'm not 100% sure what exactly the last tier is going to entail. But uh, I want to do a design your own store, but I don't know if that's feasible. So, um, and I said, once again, all, all that money, <laughs> a lot of that money will go to anything that's left over goes for charity. So, you know, you yeah. are definitely helping out and you may help yourselves out too. Yeah, keep in mind, uh, vendors, we are not taking a cut of your profit. Yeah, so no, if, no, if no, you no, sell no. something, that's yours. Now, the vendor badge, that will go to the charity. But yeah. the, what you sell, you keep. We are well, not intruding on that. What Are there cons that do that? Because every con I'm yes. proud of, they, really? <laughs> yes. I guess that's the difference. I actually, you know, I let everybody, yeah, my con lets everybody keep all their profits. We don't. We just collect the money, you know, to get the spots at the beginning and that's it. And that's all we're looking for is that basically you're making a donation to get a spot. So that being said, if you want to give me more money and <laughs> sell all your stuff, you are free and happy to do that. Um, we'll light a candle for you in the Catholic church nearby. Um, wow. At least it's not a Baptist church. <laughs> Good freaking oh. Oh. Kyle is on a roll tonight. <laughs> so let you know, let us know, let us know That's if right. any of you out there are interested because it, I'm not going to have a ton of spots because we, you know, first year cons, let's be frank, we really don't know how many attendees we're going to have. And I want to make sure people walk away with money in their pockets. So best way to do that is that you limit your numbers. So the spots may be rather exclusive to the point of 15 to 20 total. You know what, Carol, once they look at tinyurl.com slash con preview, they're gonna sign up because yeah, then, well, then they can visualize how this shit's gonna work and it is going to work well. It's not a matter of that. It's also making sure that they wanna come back if we ever do this again and they have enough money they wanna come back to do it again. This is what I said, I've been doing this for, I've been doing the whole vendor thing for a while, so. That's right, we're developing a cancer ray to give more people cancer. Jesus so we are Christ. going to have to continue wow. this next year as well for all the new such cancer patients. Wow. You are such a dick, Kyle. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I don't know, I think is there, I'm anything, else? Serious is there, there anything else that I can, I mean, that's it. That's just from my point of view and how where I'm shooting for here as the person in charge of all this. Sponsors, of course, wait, sponsors. Of course, sponsors, it doesn't matter. You, it, We can have as many of you as, as you know, as you want to sign up. And said, remember, the money's going to a good cause. So... You know, just, you know, to get your name out there, 25 bucks, why not? 
Although, although I believe we have a tier where you actually, we will actually the name the theaters after you. So and that's only limited to one per theater. So there's yeah, only two yeah money bags. If you want to piss away your money, rename our uh, theater, which <laughs> by the way, plays a freaking movie. Not shitting you. We have a movie theater in the con that you can go see. But you know what? That's part of what David's going to talk about because David's talking about the cool <laughs> shit. David, yeah. you're up. Jazz hands. Oh, jazz hands. Because that's entertainment, folks. That's what I'm all about right now. So <laughs> uh, dig, if you will, this picture. All right. There's uh, um, you ever been to a Renaissance fair, folks? Well, basically, yes! that's what this is. So uh, huzzah, huzzah. one of the things about Ren Fairs, there's music, there's entertainment all throughout the fair. You, you walk anywhere, you, you hear performers playing, you see performers playing, and that's what we're bringing to you folks. Yes, we are. Uh, we have a couple of uh, musical performers uh, that are available to us for the, for the con. Uh, we're still trying to work out the details with that, but we're also always looking for more entertainment to uh, to place into the con. Uh, one other thing that we have, just for laughs, we have a comedian too. So we have a comedian on board that oh will be providing God. entertainment. And how this will work, Greg folks? It's not Kyle. <laughs> it's not it's Kyle. Not Kyle. <laughs> I mean, it's a real. It, it's comedian. somebody who actually performs in venues. Yeah. It's some wait, wait. It's somebody who actually is funny rather than thinks he's funny. And, right. and he is right. one of us, a murder hobo. Wait, mm -hmm. he is. Yeah, we know who. If I play, do I know who it is? You should. If I you look through the archives and stop you interrupting see David, who it is. you know who it is. <laughs> yes, it's one of it's one of ours. No, oh, yeah, that's so cool. He, he's a great comedian, so he's really funny. Um, so this is how it works, folks. Um, if you're a musician or a performer, and you're interested in our con. We can represent you uh, at the con. We have these things that are like little areas that'll set up. We can set up well, the something that looks like a, a billboard where if you are a performer, you can send us just MP4s of your performances and we'll have it playing live throughout, throughout the event. So we're trying to get as many performers as we can to just kind of fill the venues with, with entertainment to where... When you virtually walk in through through the con and all that, you'll be able to see all the entertainment that it, that is going on. After each each point that there's entertainment, you're gonna hear and you're gonna see that performer. You know, as you make your way to your theater or wherever <laughs> for your game. Speaking of performers, yes, I, we I will fucking <laughs> mute you. <laughs> is there no mouthpiece? I already muted myself. There's no oh, mouthpiece man. on that, is oh, you there? You make noise. That's easy. You can, but it's not. Kyle, you totally it. have to do a MP4 video That's right. of a performance. I am going to do oh. a wonderful performance on this here flugelhorn. Oh my uh, God! Who doesn't love a flugelhorn? Come on! I don't you know. know. <laughs> this isn't a flugelhorn, but all right. No, Whatever. that's not a flugel. I don't. What is that? And uh, I should know. Check out my MP3 at the fair. I'll be playing it nude while baking cake. <laughs> It'll be there. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless hey. you pay a thousand dollars to our charity. Wait. Right wait. now. Wait. 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 This is a family friendly con. We can't have you. Actually, it is not. No. And it's I'll go into that not. after David. So yeah. once David wraps that up, I'll explain yes. that. Oh no. Some some of the performers uh, performers get a little body. So there's gonna be a, you know, body lyrics going on and things like that as you make your way through the con. So I get very body. Yeah. So and so and it's I get mature, horny uh, when I get body. Oh, oh man, uh, right. we are a mature audience only show, folks. Yeah, but, well, it depends. Uh, no, but but Locky I mean, that are perfectly. Our antics are pretty much PG, so you know it. it it'll be fun. It'll be fine. Uh, so yes. So basically virtually you'll be represented. Uh, it could be as much as uh, you play your MP4s playing on a billboard. 
one of the things that we are <coughs> trying to negotiate and we're also still on, on the look for is anybody who wants to play live. So if you're able to do a Zoom or a live YouTube feed or, or something like that of a performance, we will get you a dedicated time and a dedicated spot uh, at the con. Also, we, we, we are uh, still going through trying to arrange a show closer. So we would definitely love a live performance for that. Yeah. So if we can get it and we can pull it off, it's going to be awesome. So, you know, even if it's a, if it ends up being an MP4 of a live performance, that's fine too. I mean, we're, we're, we're just looking for, for entertainment folks. We got to keep, we got to keep people you know, entertain while they mill around this virtual world because there'll heard, be a lot to see. I heard Beyonce was interested, but I, heard so I, too. I, I haven't confirmed that yet. Yeah, Jay Z said he'll be in touch. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, anyway, uh, yes. So, like with our sponsors, we have representation of uh, sponsors throughout the uh, throughout throughout the virtual environment itself so this is basically just another aspect of that so performers if you want to sell uh any any of your music any merch and stuff like that that's all for you you just uh include a you know just send Ooh. us a link we'll we'll hook it up to uh whatever whatever billboard or whatever whatever we have representing you and uh you know, interested people can go click and be directed straight to your website uh, for, you know, MP3 downloads, things like that. So, I mean, it'll, it's going to be awesome. So yeah, performers, if you're watching, I think you want in on this. So it'll be it, good. It's a great opportunity for you. Okay. Now, if you've watched this show before, you know, we're a bunch of dipshits. However, yeah. We what? are quite serious about this project. We are humping our ass off to make it something special. Uh, that being said, uh, when we use Topia as our virtual world vendor, uh, you kind of have to click that you were 16 or older. So little Frankie, uh, you're going to have to go in under your dad's account. <laughs> yeah, that's how um, it's going to have to go, guys. So, Braden, yeah. that's the same thing. The same, yeah. Gonna, so, yeah, we'll have so to work that, that out there, for you too. There is an age group. And of course, uh, it, it's Murder Hobo Con. It's not unicorns kissing you with hearts, okay? Uh, the humor can get, as David pointed out, a little body. Uh, down there. Certainly some of the nasty things. Sorry, I've got a there. unicorn in my pants right now. Oh, nice. God. Uh, the, the nasty shit's not going to fly, okay? So, you know, no, all the, no, all the hardcore crap push. you've seen on social media, it's not going to fly. If you I'm going to be muted the entire time. Yeah, yeah, if you pull that crap in the middle and somebody we'll reports you, you, you're gone. Uh, yeah. So, you know... Behave we, yourself. We, we want... You know, we want everybody to have a good time. That's our goal, okay? We want to help the American Cancer Society. We want you guys to have a good time. We want you to see stuff. We've got a fortune-telling booth. We've got a photo booth. Yes. We've got freaking door prizes already. Hell, Walmart's even donated to it, for God's sake, okay? Wow. We're pushing uh, to make this an enjoyable con where you can sit around in your underwear and still have fun. Just keep the camera angle up. Uh, <laughs> please. Uh, yeah. oh, wait. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What if yeah. I don't want to wear underwear during the con? God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Well, I keep my camera up. That's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, we've all seen your chest. None of us have been impressed. So here it is, folks. <laughs> Tinyurl.com slash con preview. Go look at it. Wander around. Remember, there might be latency issues. Uh, I'm not going to get into the technical jargon. But that is not going to happen at the con because we are paying extra to make sure it doesn't happen. Uh, this venue has supported over a thousand people at once. It will handle it. Uh, they do a Burning Man festival that did 13,000 people last year. Virtual uh, weddings. Yeah, I mean, the, it's the just site can handle it. Uh, the con preview, not so much. So if you look at it, it's like, oh, this is bullshit. This is crappy. It might be. The con itself is not going to be. 
Uh, let's just hit the key points. Kyle's pointed out if you're a DM, GM, whatever, and you want to run your shit on Twitch like we would, that's fine. If you don't want to use our private game room, our private game room will be a link or a springboard to your Zoom, your Roll20, or whatever you're using. You can do that. And if you want to put your game live on a billboard, we can do that for you so people can watch. Uh, Carol, uh, by her own admission, uh, missed out on seminars. Yeah. We, we do have at least one signed up, okay? Just to make sure oh, the tabletop.events was working, yeah, I yeah. have put in an Iron DM spot for the Iron seminar, uh, one hour, and then uh, an eight o'clock game in Cathaway for me. Now, I might be a little bit busy, and if we get more than enough DMs, I may just back out. But submissions are open. So if you have a game idea, doesn't matter what venue. If you want to do Tunnels and Trolls, Starfinder, My Little Pony, don't care. Go ahead, hit tabletop.events, take a look at us, and help us out. Uh, MurderHoboCon.com is the official website. Uh, got it for 30 bucks from GoDaddy. Shout out oh, to GoDaddy. Uh, hey, uh, companies help us out and we're going to yeah. go ahead and promote them. Adventure Sense slash Oddfish Games is already on board. We're hoping, fingers crossed, they'll do a How to RPG with Your Cat seminar uh, because their Kickstarter is due to go live soon. We don't know yet. We're still working out the details. Uh, David has brought up, if you're a performer, specifically a cosplay enthusiast, you can go ahead yes. and do a training session on building armor, building weapons. Hit us up. You can hit us up on Twitter at Con Hobo, at Murder Hobo Inc., at Muses Touch, at d and yes. anyone. Just hit uh -huh. us up. Go to the website, again, MurderHoboCon.com. Scroll to the bottom. Uh, there's a more information list. We're going to get an FAQ up there. Uh, we've got a list of things that DMs should and should not have in their games. I'll just say it. Use your head. Okay. Just, yeah. You guys all know what is well received and what is horrible. Kyle, horrible. I David, always good. use my head. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Uh, this project we are super stoked about it. All of these guys have been in the Murder Hobo Con venue. Uh, I yeah. keep adding and moving things around. We've got 12 game rooms, 12 private game rooms. We have four uh, standalone seminar rooms. We've got a giant stage, a smaller stage, a swag shop. Um, we have door prizes. We've got a fortune teller booth. We've got the photo booth. We have signage for vendors, sponsors, and others. Vendor Village. Uh, I'll come not, up. Nah, not, uh, not, no, 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 wait, no. Maybe next year. Have, it's in the fifth quadrant of the well, lateral Vendor no, Village. They, they have adjusted the teleportability. Yeah, so that's the now problem. You don't you go have back. to spawn in oh, the same spot. But fantastic. Uh, yeah, we've got two months. I might change that. We might just have a vendor village. And we say, could if it doesn't if it doesn't spawn you in the middle every time you leave a, leave a store. Out. We can we can adjust that. Oh. The venue is constantly being adjusted. The developers at Topia are kicking major ass. You can actually visit it on your phone. It's still a little janky right now. Okay, uh, but by the time the con goes live, eight one of twenty one it'll probably be working. Uh, they are whooping their ass off. So kudos to the folks at Topia. Great job. Uh, thank you, tabletop.events, for making this an easy process so far. We hope it continues. DMs, GMs, seminar, and panelists, you got an idea? Throw it in there. We will see if we can get you into the con. Uh, yeah. It's not going to cost you anything other than a badge, and then you can charge. Uh Remember, we'd really prefer all the profit go to the American Cancer Society just because I don't want the tax headaches. Uh, uh, thank you, IRS. I appreciate it. You don't need to call me. Uh, but yeah, we are we are humping away at this project. So as much as we play ding -a on this show, we're taking this one really seriously. Yep. Uh, so tinyurl.com slash con preview. Check it out. 
murderhobocon.com website. Check it out. You can contact us from that point on. Prepare for the spamming. Uh, we are going to promote the living shit out of this project. We are super stoked about it. Uh, and once you figure out how we're doing it, we think you will. If you're a vendor, a sponsor, or somebody who wants to advertise, hit us up. Looking for bands, looking for cosplayers. No mimes. No mimes. We decided no mimes. Uh, but if the Von Trapp family singers wants to swing by, Carol pointed out we still need a closer. Or David pointed out we still need a closer. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, you know. Uh, hey, I, I, I have ahead. a question question for you all right so if you're running a seminar is it do you is a signups for that are open as well right you basically sign up for the same place the tabletop events correct as, uh you just have to drop down and say seminar all right so yeah any i'm i'm gonna have to do that because i'm definitely going to do a mini painting seminar yeah we we've got a lot of dms and gms already <laughs> yeah and keep in mind uh, the website's been live for a while and robert if you're out there, uh, we tried to respond to you. Your email was undeliverable. Yes, it is open to outside DMs, GMs. So go ahead and hit us up again. Um, that We've been working hard for the last couple of weeks on this. This is the first we've openly promoted it. I, I think we're up to like eight different door prizes, including Walmart gift cards. Uh, we've got DMs and GMs courtesy of Carol, David, and Kyle. We've got games out the wazoo, but sign up anyway, because we will happily step back and put the spotlight on you guys. Uh, that's what we're here for. We want to make it a, a fun experience, something real conish experience. And, uh, since, uh, you know, Gen Con backed off a month, uh, nobody's got shit to do that weekend. So Come try us, us out. Up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think we set the price at five bucks for a badge. I mean, that's, you spend that's more than that at McDonald's anymore. That's a steal for a day of gaming and, and remember, shopping and fun. What, whatever Kyle says, he's wrong because we don't get to keep one red cent. Once the bills are paid, shit through a goose that goes to the American Cancer Society, one of those giant checks. Uh, Kyle. Any yeah. final thoughts on that one? Any final thoughts? All right. Yeah, I've made jokes the entire night, people. Serious, Kyle. This is not cred campaign, Kyle, who does scary and then serious and then funny. This is just straight serious, Kyle. I haven't met it's that an before. awesome thing. Shut the fuck up, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sorry. That's just a lie. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> guys, sign up for the campaign. Despite everything I do <laughs> say, uh, yeah, the campaign of this wonderful convention that we're doing. <laughs> Pull that. You guys out. hop on the campaign. Oh, yeah, I pulled that campaign out of his ass. It to everybody. I'm going to campaign for it. I'm going to make a tweet at some point in the future. Whoa. I'm going to put Whoa. a tweet on Twitter. What? That's right. What? You mean there might be a reason to actually follow you? <laughs> oh. That, other, other than that his hurt. only Yeah, but if you address. don't tweet, then why do we follow you? I want you to tweet. I honestly forget that uh, Twitter is a thing, and I'm an old man. But yeah. again, I'll tweet about Murder HoboCon. No joke. And I yeah. will get cancer so I can get your money. No. Eventually. Oh, God. Kyle. But it has to go to the American <laughs> Cancer Society first. I will get it eventually, though. They'll let you die. David, have, what do you think? I uh, prostate cancer in my family history, so I'm oh. bound to get that money some way or another. <laughs> David, you're up. I think this is this is awesome. This is the first time we're doing this. And, I mean, how many times the, within, you know, since the world went the way that it is, all these virtual cons just wasn't all that great of an experience. So we're... We're we're throwing our hat in the ring to take it up a notch. So, so definitely, please join our con, or you know, just come and play. You know, that's that's what we want. I think at this point, we really do want people to come and play. We so yes. we seem to have a lot of people that would like to GM, and we want to make sure we have players for all of them. 
Yes, and we need said, players. <laughs> and you know, said it's 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 a good cause. So you know, it's the best. And and truth be told, I, I actually am dealing with it right now. My husband's stepsister has oh. um, met a Sta- I'm gonna butcher. That was terrible. Metastatic. No, it's okay. I, you didn't see me crying. I'm all right. But it's it's things to not. Things. Oh, no, not- I thought it was your husband, and I was concerned. No, no, he's man. no, he's fine. But it's his stepsister, and we're we're clo- we're very close to her. And uh, it's just metastatic breast cancer, which has settled into her lungs. So that's it's. it's she's been in the hospital in the ICU for the past couple weeks. But she's getting better, actually, for now. So she should be going home. But it's been really tough on the family. So, um, so yeah, this is very real. And I said, I've lost a number of people uh, to cancer. So fuck cancer. And this is the way we're going to fuck it over. Is Way to end on a high note. Girl. Bring man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah really. Oh, Just... money at it. Yeah, sorry. You know, but hey, at least it's... it's it's All right, me. I take my thing back. We're going to give the cancer money to the stepsister first. Yes. And we're going to have another murder hobo con and get the money to me. Eventually. No, we're not. No, you get nothing. You get nothing. Even Folks, if I get cancer? Uh, no. This has been Between wow. the Rolls, our introduction <laughs> to murderhobocon.com. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to be on a show either next Tuesday or two weeks from Saturday, possibly next Thursday, we aren't sure, for a one-shot Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. Uh, we are going to be retweeting the shit out of at con hobo memes and announcements. Again, murderhobocon.com, tinyurl.com slash con preview. We aren't kidding, okay? We're trying to make Greatest this for con you guys. Murder hobo has ever pulled. It's, oh, it, it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, and we want you to share in that. That being said, uh, let's wave. Join us Thursday for Cacophony, yeah. Saturday for a one shot. Thank you for being part of our announcement, murderhobocon.com. Get us I'm out of here. Spam right now. See you guys.